The iRelay 50P is an intelligent protection system integrating protection, measurement, control, communication, and event logging. Let's take a look at iRelay 50P datasheet for what kind of protection it offers. You see a bunch of ANSI codes for protection relay here. Basically, the prefix number is for what kind of protection. 50 means instantaneous overcurrent protection based on phase current. 51 means inverse time overcurrent protection, which trip time decrease as current increase, and vice versa. 46 means negative sequence protection against the phase imbalance. 68 is the blocking function that prevents another element from tripping. For example, during the motor start, the inrush current is high. The 68H2 uses the second harmonic to determine that it's a normal inrush current, so it blocks the 50 from false tripping when motor start. For the suffix letter P and N, P means phase and N means neutral. The N protection is for the ground fault. Next, the stage number 1, 2, 3, 1 is instantaneous protection for severe fault. 2 is a time-delayed protection which is less severe, and so on. I have summarized them into this table for easier comparison. Let's look at the back of the device for how the connection should be. The terminals here are for auxiliary 48 volt DC power supply, or the terminals for self-powered from the CT. The iRelay 50P is suitable for installation without auxiliary DC supplies, for example in ring main units or remote substations. There are two digital input terminals. They are dry contact inputs that can be used for monitoring the status of, for example, breaker status, external trip signals, or configured as DI protection for gas trip, temperature alarm, remote signaling inputs, etc. The serial port here is for communication with your workstation via Modbus RTU for remote monitoring, settings, and control. IA, IB, IC are the terminals for connecting CTs on the circuits to be protected from overcurrent, overload, unbalance, etc. IN is the terminal for connecting neutral CT or external zero-sequence CT for the ground fault protection. Lastly, there are two digital output ports. Out1 is a dry contact DO with either normally open or normally closed circuit. They are normally used for the alarm, signals, etc. Out2 is a port for active pulse output used for tripping your breaker, which you need to make sure it matches your trip coil voltage. Ready to get a protection relay in your industry? Contact CET for more details.